Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how I use my analog delay, my Roland Space Echo, with Reaper. I've got it set up on output 5 of my interface. It's going into the instrument input, and then it's going through the tape. Out here, going into a DI input on my interface. The first thing I should actually do is check my latency settings. So I'm going to take my instrument cable here, Turn this off. So I'm going from output to input, output 5 to input 2 on the interface. I got this turned off and I'm going to click ping detect. So that's just going to calculate the delay from input to output. I swap those cables again, get this back into input on the space echo, and the output is connected to the interface. All right, so in this project, I've got it set up with RIA insert. I've got input five. I've got it set left and right. You don't actually need to do this. Just sending the same input to left and right and receiving the same. It's a mono device. So that's the main reason why I'm doing that. I've got this set up for the lead vocal. I've got a send going into the space echo track. And let's hear how it sounds. When the water I must the smell of smoke I cover up my ear To only hear my breathing And that's the goodness of the Space Echo. It's just uh, crunchy, kind of dark sounding, and kind of unstable, especially this one, because obviously it's a used device. I bought it um, already like 15 years old. I've had it for seven years. I've never put in a new tape. When I got it, it was totally stuck together and really nasty, and I needed to add some oil and stuff to get it working. But I've never really maintained it in seven years. So it's a little unstable and a little unpredictable, but I think that's really, really cool. It's different every time I use it. On this particular device, there are six modes. The first mode outputs the playback head that's closest to the record head. There's a second playback head, and that's for mode two. And mode three is one and two, so you get a double repeat. Modes one to three can have a feedback loop. Modes four to six are the same, but without the feedback loop. So if I go to mode four, that's going to be the shortest delay time, the shortest gap between the record and play heads. I'll have play this. When, when the water runs dry And I see your face Your, your burns cover the smirk I want to so out of place So that's the longest delay that mode one or four is capable of. This repeat rate actually changes the speed of the motor that's driving the tape. Single mode five, and this is the longest delay for mode five. When, when the water, when the water runs, runs, dry, runs dry, and I see your face, your face, your burns, your burns. All right, and mode six is both of those uh, playback heads at the same time. When the water runs runs dry, and I see your face. So sometimes it's helpful to set it to one of these modes, the single modes, find your timing, and then switch it over to the corresponding repeat mode, and then you can get your uh, intensity set. When the water runs dry, and I see your face. That sounds pretty good right there. I'm going to put this onto mode one and then turn up the intensity. If I wanted to actually commit this effect to the song, I'd right click on the meter, set record output mode, output mono. Because it's a mono device. 
and cord enable. Then we'll hit record. When the water runs dry, and I see your face, your burns cover the smirk, and I want to stop the soap out of place. I match the smell of smoke, I, I cover up my ears to only hear my breathing. I want to hear my breathing. One of the great things about using a space echo or any sort of hardware effect, you can get those great real-time effects glitching and stuff, and it's just really nice to get hands-on with the mix sometimes. Now that we have this recorded on a track, I need to disable reinsert so it's not sending to that device again. And I need to disable my send from the vocal. So now we can hear this by itself. When the water runs dry and I see your face. Let's check this with the mix and blend it in at an appropriate volume. So I do something like that in the mix. I talked a lot about specifics of this space echo. The same kind of rules and techniques will apply to any sort of delay pedal that you're using or really any hardware effect that you're connecting here. I like to use reinsert and then when I want to commit the sound, I set the track to record mode output, mono or stereo depending on the device, and then record it in real time. I take that opportunity to mess with the effects, uh, to change it in real time, and get something really, really special and something that's going to be different every time rather than a plug-in. It's really great to get hands-on with that. All right, guys, I'll save you from my rambling. My love for the Space Echo is obvious. It doesn't always make the cut in the final mix, but I love it anyways. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit me up with any questions you have on using hardware with Reaper. I'd be happy to help. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for more tutorials.